Hi students, welcome. In this video, we are going to study about cross flow heat exchanger. Here, students, in cross flow heat exchanger, there are two types. Here, first is cross flow heat exchanger with mixed cold fluid stream, and another is cross flow heat exchanger with unmixed cold fluid stream. So now, first we will see the cross flow heat exchanger with mixed cold fluid stream. Okay, this heat exchanger. So for that, here. now i am here drawing the tubes okay so now see this is first tube this is here another tube second tube here this is third tube here this is fourth here this is fifth tube okay like that okay now see here now in these tubes these are our tubes okay these are tubes in these tubes there is um, we will pass the in these tubes hot fluid okay this is the hot fluid inlet as you can see okay and this here this is the hot fluid outlet okay as you can see so now i am giving it a name here hot fluid inlet hot fluid inlet okay and this is as you can see here this hot fluid is passing in every here in separate tubes as you can see here that's why it is unmixed stream here this is unmixed un mixed stream okay on mixed stream as this hot fluid is passing in separate tubes as you can see here and here this is the hot fluid outlet okay outlet okay now see here in this case here cold cold fluid will we will pass from this direction from above to below as you can see here here see suppose here the cold we are passing cold fluid from here okay this is the cold fluid stream this is inlet here here this is the outlet as you can see here now another stream will flow like this suppose and here another stream again will flow like this suppose here another stream will be like this another stream will be will flow like this okay and so on okay here this is the inlet here this is the cold fluid cold fluid inlet and as you can see here this cold fluid is not passing in separate tubes or there is no any baffles so that the these streams will be separate out that's why this stream is mixing inside the heat exchanger while flowing from the inlet to the outlet so this is a mixed stream okay stream here this is our mixed stream cold fluid inlet and here this is the cold fluid outlet outlet so understood students see here this cold fluid is not passing in the tubes that's why this cold fluid is mixing inside this heat exchanger that's why it is a mixed stream heat exchanger okay okay and now see here in cross flow heat exchanger there is the flow of both the fluids hot and cold fluid is always at right angles that's why it is called as cross flow heat exchangers as you can see here this hot fluid is flowing in horizontal direction as like this and this cold fluid is flowing in vertical direction like this that's why it is flowing at the right angle triangle right angle sorry at right angles so, so right angles that's why it is called as cross 
flow okay heat exchanger okay now see here here there is no mixing of load of uh, this uh, cold flare that's why it is here see no mixing of uh, hot uh, flare from the inlet to the outlet and here there is mixing of cold flare from the inlet to the outlet okay as you can see here and in this case in this case there is uniform temperature at every section of the cold flare as cold flare at this uh, suppose at this section it's uh, at this section its temp its temperature will be its cold flare temperature will be uniform at this section section the cold flare temperature will be uniform at every temperature from inlet to the outlet its uh, every section like this uh, its uh, temperature will be uniform and it varies only the direction of flow that is in this direction in this direction its own oh, this temperature of the cold flare will varies only in the direction of flow that is in this direction as you can see here this cold flare is flowing in vertically downward position downward okay as you can see in this diagram okay now students see here now we will see the another type here now for that here now i am separating this both here okay now i am first i am writing here that here a uh, cold flare temperature cold flare temperature will be uniform at every section at at any section we can call it any section okay and it and cold flare temperature will vary only vary will vary will vary only in direction of flow direction of flow as we have seen here in the vertical direction as you can see here now here we will see now the second uh, here unmixed stream okay related to unmixed stream so now i am i am here again drawing the tubes here first tube here this is second here this is third fourth and here this is the fifth tube okay and so on so now here again same here inlet hot flare inlet as you can see here this is the hot flare outlet okay so uh, now a uh, one more thing here see that here the temperature of the hot flare at the inlet will be the high that is suppose its temperature is th1 its outlet temperature of the hot flare will be th2 and inlet temperature of the cold flare will be the tc1 and outlet temperature of the cold flare will be, will be the tc2 so here in this case uh, here the th2 will be less than th1 and here tc2 will be greater than tc1 tc1 okay as this as hot flare is uh, flowing as this um, tubes inside this tubes the cold flare and cold flare flowing in cross flow direction because of that there is reduction of uh, there is heat exchange between both the flares that's why we will get here um, uh, lit, um, uh, less temperature hot flare at the outlet we will get the less temperature of the fluid as compared to the inlet temperature and here in the cold fluid we will get the uh, get the outlet uh, cold fluid at the outlet temperature will be higher than the cold fluid inlet temperature as we have seen here okay now come to this uh, again these are our tubes and in this uh, unmixed stream there are baffles okay suppose here this is the tube here inside these 
area there are baffles as like this suppose okay and here there is um these like these are all these uh boxes as show, shown here this is like um, tubes also tubes this is like tubes but inside this box there is a baffles baffles which don't allow the fluid to mix that's why here stream will be like this in straight line I like this here this is the cold fluid stream okay here this is the cold fluid stream these are straight stream state okay so here this is our cold fluid inlet and this is unmixed stream unmixed stream this is hot fluid inlet hot fluid outlet and this is unmixed stream here in this case because it is not mixing in mixing with each other because this is one stream this is second third fourth and these are these streams are flowing inside this uh, uh, inside these uh, uh, partitions okay uh, these are baffles here as I have shown here and this cold fluid is not mixing with uh, another stream that's why here this is unmixed stream cross flow heat exchanger and here this is the cold fluid outlet hot fluid inlet hot fluid outlet and here also suppose this is our th1 temperature this is th2 temperature here this is tc1 temperature here this is tc2 temperature okay and here in this case as we have seen this is unmixed flow type unmixed flow unmixed flow it actually unmixed flow we are getting in getting for the hot fluid in uh, sorry for cold fluid also and uh, for hot fluid also we are uh, we are uh, considering here uh, unmixed uh, stream that's why here see at we don't get uh, here in this case we don't get a uniform temperature at any section suppose this is a section at this section we, we will get we will not get the uniform uniform temperature here the temperature will be different here temperature different will be different here will be different here will be different okay so here we will not get cold fluid temperature is not uniform at any section and here okay and uh, see here this is a this is and here also this in this case also here th2 temperature will be less than th1 temperature and tc2 temperature will be greater than tc1 temperature okay now one more thing here students uh, here see the example of this uh, mixed stream cross flow heat exchanger is uh, here the cooling unit of refrigeration system okay and the example of this uh, unmixed stream cross flow heat exchanger is uh, automobile radiator okay so students in this video we have understood about uh, cross flow heat exchanger thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel Thank you.